morning, you guys. So, this is the start of week 10 for me, and I'm out here. I'm back at it. Um, when I started my weight loss journey, um, what, nine weeks ago? I weighed in at 237, <laughs> which was horrible. But before I went on vacation, at week eight, I weighed in at 205. So that was a loss of 32 pounds, which was great. <laughs> so now, over my vacation, I gained four pounds, which I actually think I gained that after I got back from my vacation because I took a week off <laughs> from working out. But I'm back at it now at 209, and my goal now is to drop into Wonderland. So I'm trying to get down into the 100s. And I really feel like I can do it. I'm trying to do that within the next month. So <clears throat> I'm back at it and just trying to make this happen. <laughs> um, I haven't decided what my diet is going to be, but I decided I'd go ahead and go back to my walking, back to my elliptical and doing the weights because I really want to work on my arms and try and get my stomach down some more but I'm feeling good I'm excited I got back on the horse so hopefully you guys are doing well on your journeys as well um hey if not just get right back on it don't give up don't give up because even though I gained those four pounds and it sucks I know I can get them right back off so just get right back in there and keep going and eventually you'll reach your goal so i will check back in with you guys later on this week hopefully i can figure out what i'm going to eat and um hope you guys have a good week all right so can y'all tell me why you be walking in the morning, you know, you're in a good mood. You all walking, talking about like, hi, good morning. And you know, some people be like, hey, good morning. And then other people you walk by them and they just be like, you know, just mean mugging in the morning. I'm just like, hey, I'm sorry you mad you walking in the morning. I'm like, okay, well God bless.
another walk. This is a late evening walk, but I'm sticking with it. So <laughs> just wanted to check in. I'll try to get another three, four miles in today. And uh, hope y'all doing good. Toodles. weigh in when I came back from vacation I weighed 209 I had gained four pounds while on vacation so let's see where I am today just come on right quickly and talk about how this first week went back after my vacation um, getting back into the swing of things and just forcing myself really to get back on track because I didn't want to <laughs> when I first got back from vacation I didn't want to I had to force myself to make that first video I had to force myself to do that first workout when I came back because when I went on vacation, I didn't work out. I wasn't able to because I was sick. Um, and I didn't eat too horribly, but I still ended up gaining four pounds. Now the break that I took was really from, I would say about the last video that I did. Cause after I did that video, I was supposed to continue on for about a week before I went on vacation. But I kind of slacked off, you know, was getting excited about going and everything. And so for about four days before my vacation, I really didn't work out. I really didn't, I mean, I didn't eat crazy because I don't eat crazy anyway, but I didn't and work so, out. so I basically had stopped working out for about two and a half weeks because I didn't work out for the 10 days on my vacation. And then when I got back from vacation, I didn't work out again probably until like Thursday or Friday when I made that I'm back video and started back up. So it was a good two and a half to three weeks that I really was not working out. And so it was hard for me to get back on track with that. Um, but this first week, went great. Once I got started, it went great. I got right back into it, got right back on the horse, and it wasn't too bad at all. Um, as you can see, I did lose the four pounds that I gained while on vacation, so I'm glad that I did just kind of get right back into it. And so as a result, I decided, okay, it's time for you to set some new goals for yourself. You know, make some new plans to try to hit some new numbers. And so like I said in the video, my next goal is to get down into the 100s, which would be great for me. I'd be super excited to get back into the 100s. Um, so hopefully, by the time I come to you again, I will have reached that goal because I'm trying to get there by my next video. Um, so we'll see if my goal is it. actually a longer term goal, which is one that I want to reach by New Year's and I would like to be 180 by New Year's. So I feel like since September's basically over and I have October, November, December, I have three months to lose 20 pounds once I get down into the hundreds. I think I can do it. 
I think it's a goal that I can attain. <laughs> Even though it gets a little tricky around the holidays, especially with Thanksgiving and Christmas and people getting together and, you know, sweets is my weakness. You so. know, I'm really, really big on desserts and stuff. So hopefully I can really keep up with my working out because I think that's gonna be the key. If I can keep up with my working out, I can get there. So that is my second goal and I'm really hoping to reach So that. I just wanted to make this short little clip just to update you on my new goals, let you know how things are going, how I'm feeling um, about getting back on track. Still excited, still going And really hard. trying to focus on making this a lifestyle change. You know, like I was just with family this weekend enjoying um, my mom's birthday and going out to eat and everything. And it's like just making different choices you know, drinking water instead of soda or whatever, you know, when going out to restaurants and stuff, having something smaller or deciding, okay, if you want to get some French fries or something, splitting it. So it's like, you know, I wanted a little bit of French fries, so I ordered some, but I split it, you know, with two other people. So it's like, I'm just eating smaller amounts, making different choices when I'm not able know. to just eat healthy, you know, like I do every day or when I don't want to order a salad from a restaurant. So anyway, just wanted to touch on that a little bit. I really am trying to make this a lifestyle thing so that when I get the weight off, I can keep it So on. thank you for watching my video. I hope you will stick with me and hold me accountable <laughs> to sticking with it so that I can reach my goals and get to where I'm trying to get to. Um, and once I hit those goals, then I'll be updating with my new set I of guess goals. I will see you on my next video, and I hope you guys are doing great on your journey. Toodles!